Hi guys, Eric here from Laserskin TV and this is a practical episode. We had a request to check out the new Arctic Ray 2 together with Leo, as a boast uh, from the Arctic side, the uh, terrestrial scanner, the Arctic Ray 2, to, uh, the handheld scanner, the Leo, and how it works to combine both data set in a practical scene. We do this and then we were thinking if you are maybe have another scanner, uh, it is also possible to use other scanners like a Ferro or I don't know, a Trimble system uh, to combine this with uh, the LEGO data and we check this also out and the final result you will see in this video. Yeah, what are we doing? If you are new to the channel, so uh, if you're maybe not so deep in the laser scanning stuff, I will show you and begin which kind of scanner we uh, try, um, how we can work together. So one is the is the hand, handheld scanner. This one is the system. What, what is definitely in both uh, inside. I show it here. So, so we use these Arctic uh, Leo. And the Arctic Leo is a very nice handheld scanner because this is uh, without any cable. You don't need any cable, you know, any remote laptop, everything is in um, one hand uh, and you have a very good working range. So it is a very good scanner to fulfill some gaps, um, but you can also work uh, most customers, I think, use it to work independent uh, only with the Leo scanner. But we like combine these uh, scanner with uh, a terrestrial laser scanner. So this is our scan scene. It's a it's a, a heating room. So and we scan there a scene, different scenes, and try to connect them. So the other uh, system what we have in the video is the honor is the new Arctic Ray Two. Is this system and. I go forward, then we take another scanner, what is not of the Arctic family, and we use the Faro Core because we have a lot of Faro scanners. So this was our choice. So let us start. Uh, you see, we have these Leo scans, and then we do also two scans with this Arctic Ray 2 system. So we have it here. So start a scan. The scanner is turning, so you see here. So there's one scan and after we finish the scan we move to another scan position and we make an additional scan and I think we also do something like a pre-registration in these uh, field software what they use here so this was the um, scan and now we go in the software to combine this and for this we use the software Arctic Studio I think we have the version 18 here, professional. So at first we import the two ray scans as a terrestrial scan data. You can drag and drop them. So coming inside, importing the scans. So then we also delete some of the outside areas what we don't have a dense point cloud data set. So we clean a little bit outside. Then we done a registration between both scans, so both terrestrial scans. If we are uh, ready with this one, then we move forward and import the Leo scans. Now the Leo scans from the handle scanner already now imported in the scene. And you will see if they are imported that there will be on a different scan position. And uh, because it is not the same coordinate reference system, and we have three of them, three data sets, and you see there coming something inside here and we used to put them together here um, an alignment tool from the software and for the rough alignment you pick only three identical points and then the software will do a pre-alignment and afterwards you can do the final alignment and then we do this with the next area here and I think there was another one the third area is the last one and we put this inside, so you see this area. Then we check the alignment, how the good they are looking. This was for us okay. So and then we had now these two terrestrial scans and we had uh, these Leo scans uh, from the alignment and then we done a registration and of all of, of all datas. And now you see here, the software does in global registration overall. And finally, if you are ready, all point clouds are now in one data set or it's in one registration. And finally, we generate then from the point cloud a mesh. This is now the next step. So now we run here a smart fusion. It took a little bit of time. So, 
and now we are done with. And afterwards, we get one big mesh data set, what is combined from the two terrestrial scans and from the um, three uh, handheld scanners. And uh, this is our result. It looks pretty good, so we don't see any overlapping areas. So, and then we generate a mesh from only the terrestrial scanner, what we call a Ray 2 scanner here. So, when we generate then another mesh. So, and finally, I hope I can show it to you. So, so in the end, we have the other mesh. It took a little bit more time. So, and then we have um, this two data sets. We give them another name. This is the array mesh. And then you see this is the mesh for, uh, this is now the array and the Leo together. And the other one is only the data set. And you see now with the both uh, scan set, it's more dense point cloud because we capture with the handheld scanner all the shadow informa information and you see it's finally done. So what we can see, it's possible with the Arctic Array 2 and with Leo single scans, combine this in the software and getting one data set out. So that uh, uh, is definitely working. So, and for the first look, looks definitely okay to us. Then we move forward because we had these, uh, now the interest, uh, that we can do it also, if you are not a, uh, have not an Arctic Ray, but you already have another scanner, is it possible to combine Leo data in the Arctic software together with another terrestrial scanner? And we check this out. And we use for this the Faro Core scanner. You see, here we have the Faro Core. We put there some registration, in, uh, some information about the properties inside. So like the, how many points you like to do and how fast the scan should be done. So we do also two scans with the Faro scanner and get out also a result and the processing workflow, how we can combine this data set, I can show you here. So at first we have to use Pharosine now, now is their workflow different. We need another software. We use the Pharosine software. We also put these two data inside and make a registration in Pharosine about the two point clouds. So we get also a finally one point cloud out with a registration. You see everything green here. So it means to us this is okay. So afterwards, we have to develop here in, uh, I think it's a, what you call them, a database. So they call them project point cloud. After we have the project point cloud done, we export each scan as single E57 scan uh, for the guys who are not maybe so familiar. E57 is in kind of an ASCII format and is like a uh, format which most scanner providers support in many software. So it's like an exchange software, it's like something like a DXF for point cloud. So, so we export this and then we import now the data set, the single scans in Arctic Studio. We also check this point cloud here, if the point cloud is already in. And now we have to do something different. In the other step, we calculate point clouds together. As the point cloud from Terrestrial and Handheld Scanner, this is not working here. Here we can only combine the Leo data set with the uh, Faro scanners if we have a triangulation from both Faro scans, from the both terrestrial scans. And this is what we show in this step. We start here and then we get a, a triangulation out. We check again. We check this, uh, or we make a group of uh, from that. So and then we are done. We have now a triangulation. Now we import also the Leo scans. Now we have also these three Leo scans here, and we use the same principle like before, like uh, using this pre-alignment tool, clicking three points, uh, the area is collected. Take another one, putting three points is collected. We do another one, putting these other three points and have this rough collection. So then we check this alignment. Basically, alignment looks okay. And afterward, we registration the Leo scans all together with the Faro triangulation data set in the next step. That's I think maybe it took a little bit of time, not, not so long. So afterwards, we check the registration. The registration looks okay here for us, and we do now uh, a mesh overall with uh, the mesh functionality from um, these um, Arctic software. And you see, we use also the smart fusion. And finally, we get, it looks a little bit time because it's real time here. So uh, then we check the mesh. Now we have also a data set from the Ferro scanner, uh, 
a mesh together with these three point clouds all aligned and the data set looks also fine here for us. We don't can see also any double lines here in this shack. So then I think we rename this mesh. Uh, then we make also a mesh only on from the forward triangulation. It is something, the triangulation is done on the view from the bubble view from the scanner. It's like more 2D and the mesh is uh, the density, it's uh, the focus is like the density uh, or it's like the density of the mesh. So it's a different processing process. So, and then we generate this um, mesh also from the triangulation. And now we can um, compare the meshes from triangulation and from the original file scans and the triangulation from file scans and layer scans. And of course you see here that this one uh, will be more dense as the other ones. So uh, to get this information out. So then we uh, try to make an registration from the Leo data with the original point cloud, but this is, was not working, so we don't get any results out. So then we generate um, also a mesh from the point cloud only. So this was we doing here, so there's another way. So we don't go over the triangulation, we go straight, generate a mesh, and now we have finally three objects and compare, and you see it's not so different. So the final result, of course, these, um, these uh, elements what we have here from the combined data set, it looks more, you have more information inside, may have more dense information, you can look here in the uh, behind area. So what we can see finally, also this workflow using another scanner, it's also working, you, you have to use another workflow, you then you cannot use the same workflow, but you can use another workflow and you get also data out for on the first look looks also okay to work with that. So you have this means you have two options. You can do everything with your if you combine Leo scan with the Arctic product line, but you are also able using the Arctic software, the Leo scanner, and data from another terrestrial scanner to combine this. And that is also a working flow. We only check this for the ferro scanner. I imagine this is maybe a Leica scanner and Trimble scanner also working. So, but we don't check this out. Uh, but for us, it's uh, clear this is a solution for somebody who maybe needs more dense point cloud by using a handheld scanner and don't like to go over checkable targets. So that can be a solution for you if you have uh, both scanners. So I'm uh, more or less done and I enjoy that you are be part of my presentation and don't forget, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, give me a thumb up. I say bye bye Eric until the next video.